Hey there everyone, welcome back again to Engineering with Preetam. In our last video, we saw how you can use a blend tool in both the situation when we have already created sketches and when we created sketches inside blend tool. In this video, we will talk about another variant of blend tool which is known as rotational blend. So let's see how we can utilize this particular tool. Okay, so here you can see we are already in our computer screen and let me click here on new and I'm gonna keep everything as it is and then here we can see our default data plane. Now let's go here in model and then let's go here in shapes and there we go guys here we can see rotational blend. And let's start with sketch section first, uh, which kind of give you opportunity to create embedded sketches. Now here we need to click on define, now select the plane, click on sketch. Now here we need to create our sketch, let's say this rectangle. Now let's hit OK. Now we need to define our another sketch. And we also need to define axis of rotation. As the name suggests, this is a rotational blend. So let's click here on select item. And if I could able to select the axis. So let's select this X axis. Now we need to select another section. So let's click on add. And now here you can see instead of length as an offset, how we are seeing angle as an offset. So we have defined here offset value as 30 degree. Now let's click on sketch and let's create another sketch. So here we can see. Okay. Now let's click OK. And there we go guys. We can see the preview. Now let's again click on another add. And this time let's make it 45. And again, let's click on sketch. And this time what I'm gonna do is I will add a point and let's see how it behave or react when we add a point. And in case of point only here, we can see despite the point do not have four vertices, we still can do blending of it. Now again, just like a normal blend, we also have tendency option. For example, I can make it normal now my starting section which was this one is now normal to this plane and similarly i can also define the end condition now i have made it smooth in this way guys we have seen how we can utilize rotational blend as a sketched option i hope guys you find this video helpful and informational in our next video we will see how we can create these sketches first and then we'll utilize this rotational blend that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if so then please consider like and subscribe to engineering pritam to follow more such tutorial and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye